You're just going to be searched, mate. You're not under arrest. I just need to search you. When okay. police stopped and searched right. Louis de Zoyza in the early hours, they found seven bullets in his coat pocket, but they didn't discover something even more deadly. At the police station, Sergeant Matt Ratana asked de Zoyza to stand up for a second search. It was then the suspect, somehow in handcuffs, produced an antique revolver from a hidden holster and shot the officer dead. As others grappled with de Zoyza, he fired three more bullets. He shot himself and caused brain damage. Sergeant Ratana's partner was in court to hear the guilty verdict. Today is about the justice for Matt. His life was taken too soon in the line of duty, doing a job that he loved, a cruel end to a lifetime of service and dedication protecting others. The Met Police Commissioner said Sergeant Ratana made a lasting impression on all who met him. Whether it was on the streets or in the custody centre, as a uniformed police officer, on the rugby field or later as a coach, it's clear that he was someone who made an enduring impact wherever he went. The men and women in policing daily stepping forward into uncertainty and risk are truly remarkable and deserve admiration. I'm Matt Ratner, head coach. Matt Ratana was a New Zealander, a rugby fanatic, and at 54, close to retirement from the Met Police. His killer, Louis de Zoyza, is 25, a talented data analyst. At 13, he was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. His lawyer argued the shooting was a result of an autistic meltdown. He hadn't intended to harm the officer. In a wheelchair, de Zoyza gave evidence haltingly, was asked simple questions and gave one-word answers. Now, police have quite limited powers when they search a suspect on the street, but it still seems extraordinary that they didn't find the revolver and he was able to use it in handcuffs. Just hold his jacket up for me. The Independent Office for Police Complaints said the officers could have searched de Zoyza more thoroughly, but they didn't breach professional standards yeah, and will face no charges or discipline. The watchdog has recommended in searches that all forces make greater use of metal detectors. Martin Brunt, Sky News at Northampton Crown Court.